In this video, I'm going to be going over the wiring uh, between the Stemterra board and the display board. So first, we're going to start with the power pins. And if you look at the bottom, uh, the way I've connected this, the plus 5 volts is connected to the red strip, and ground is connected to the blue strip. So I'm going to connect the ground, start with black for ground, and that should go to the blue strip here and 5 volts over here should go to red. Okay, so you want to start with the power on that. Make sure the Arduino is not plugged in at this point or the stem terror board. Next we're going to connect on here the uh, load 1 and load 2 pins. You can see there. Next one's up. I suggest kind of color coding this a little bit. It'll be, make it a little bit easier. So the bottom one is blue, and that, sorry, I gotta use some jumpers here, is going to, the blue one is gonna to connect to pin 13, and green is gonna to go to 12. Next we have A or LED3, yellow wire there. And that is going to go to A3, which is up on over here. Okay. And then we've got LED2. That connects to A2. And LED1 goes to A1. And finally... We've got uh, LED0 is going to A0. Now that may seem kind of weird that we're using those analog pins, but remember that we can configure analog inputs also as digital outputs. And um, the reason we have to use those pins specifically is because those are the port pins that we'll be talking about a little bit later. For these last pins, now you're going to notice on the header on the board that there's a skip there or there's a space between those two. So make sure you don't plug anything in there. And then I'm going to plug in these four wires here all at once. There we go, to those four pins. So that segment, uh, seven segment three, two, one, and zero. And those wires are going to go to over to 11, 10, 9, and 8 here, the digital outputs over here on the board. Now that follows the schematic um, that's provided also for the wiring diagram. So if you can't see exactly how all this works, you could rewind this and watch it if you need to. Um, but uh, the wiring diagram kind of shows how all this is connected together. Super important that you keep track of the 5 volts and ground, that those aren't mixed up or misconnected. So now that it's wired up, let's see what it does. Okay, so when I plug this in, you can see it start counting on the LED display. And it should count up to 59 and then move the next hour LED over. We'll talk a little bit about how these different devices are wired up probably next week. But the main thing you want to do is be able to get this board soldered, or if it's already assembled, hook it up to the Stemterra board after removing the trainer board, upload the code in the unit, and then make sure that it's working and that all the outputs are working as you see here.